thank you for clicking through to this video. Now the whole issue of stale fuel can be somewhat controversial. In my personal opinion, anything over four to six weeks and we really need to be replacing the fuel. That's just my own experience. But that said, I have used fuel in the past which I know is far older than that and it's still been okay. But then I've used other fuel that's been around six weeks old and it's been absolutely a waste of time. And that's why the subject of fuel is so controversial because other people have had the similar experiences as I've had. And generally it just leads to confusion. But for many years now, I do make a habit of never keeping my fuel, untreated fuel that is, for anything more than six weeks at a time. I just find that I always have machines that are running so much better and I know that I'm giving them the best kind of fuel I can give them if you like. But let's just have a look at why we need to keep the fuel fresh. If we could just have x-ray vision now and look into this can. So we've got the fuel at the bottom here in red of course. And what tends to happen is from the minute we go and fill the fuel can up from the fuel station the reactive parts that we can see there start to evaporate and as it evaporates over time it starts to leave behind the less reactive substance but in any case evaporation starts to take place and there's nothing we can do about that and as you can see now the state of the fuel it starts to go thick and more like a gum and what's left behind is something that's not as combustible as it was when we first bought it because as we can see there all the reactive component of that fuel has now gone so the octane rating if you like isn't as high and so combustion won't take place as efficiently there are ways to combat this like keep the fuel tank cap nice and tight to make it last as long as possible that's something that i hear some people have had success with and when we fill the cans full of fuel it's apparently best to fill them to the top particularly if we're storing them for a while so there's no space here at the top because if there's space here then there's space for the reactive substance to evaporate into and of course we don't want that but filling this gap is supposed to reduce the evaporation now one method i always use and this is something i do sing praises about is to use a fuel stabilizer and keep it fresh for up to two years and i find that the best way of storing fuel and stale fuel by the way is an odd one for me in the past i've used stale fuel and it's caused bog down in my machines and on other occasions i've used stale fuel and it's caused flooding and i just attribute the reasons for that as because there's less combustion ability of the fuel if you like because its goodness has evaporated away and left behind that gum and i'd like to personally thank you for watching this whole video through to the end and if you do want to watch the full version of this video then the link should be just here at the side please also have a look down at the description the information i've got down there for you and hopefully i'll see you in the next video please like and subscribe and i'll be back soon thank you for watching